Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the class. It's nice to see you tonight. So, Maria, Hugo, Jaime, Damaris, thank you so much for your punctuality. How are teacher. you? I am driving. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How? Hello. Okay, Jaime, I understand. Good evening, Damaris. Hey, how was your day today? Was it a good day? Was today a good day, teacher? It was a good day. Okay, that's great. Uh, Maria, how was your day? So, hello, Jacqueline. Welcome to the class. Hugo, how was your day today? Hello, can you listen to me? Uh, Damaris, can you listen? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you. Hey, hello, Google. welcome to the class. Okay, uh, yesterday we were talking about the simple past tense uh, using the verb to be, right? Was in where? And we studied a uh, just no question and also information question using this verb in simple past, right? So let's remember this. Tonight we are going to have a review of WS word with did, was, and also where. We are going to continue practicing the simple past uh, with was and where, and we are going to remember how to use it in questions. So let's see, for example, this. Si yo quiero preguntar si usted estaba enojado ayer, ¿cómo sería esa pregunta? ¿Estabas tú enojado ayer? ¿Cómo es la pregunta? ¿Estuviste enojado ayer? Then you say, where? Were you angry? Were you angry yesterday? Were you angry yesterday? So let's suppose that you say yes. What is the affirmative answer? Were you angry yesterday? Teacher, yes, I was. Okay, thank you so much. So you say, yes, I was. Now I have another question for you. Why were you angry? ¿Cuál sería una buena respuesta para esa pregunta? Why were you angry? Okay, that is asking for a reason. ¿Por qué estabas enojado? Okay. Then you say, because, uh, because I, let's see. Because I work I... all day long. Okay, porque trabajé todo el día. Why were you angry? Because I work all day long. So you have to give information for K. We studied this type of question yesterday. But let's see another one, for example. We studied this question. Where were you born? And esta nos está preguntando por un lugar, ¿verdad? Where were you born? What is a good answer for this question? I was born in WhatsApp. Okay, I was born in, excellent. So you say, I was born in. WhatsApp. Is it correct? I was born in WhatsApp. Very good. Now, okay, I was born in Quesaltepec, thank you. So when, where you born? Where were you born? Okay. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Teacher, se escucha interferencia. Ok, veamos. ¿Qué tal la hora? ¿Escuchan mejor? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. So, I was. When I were was you born? born? I was born in, in 1990. Ok, 1990. I was born in 1990. That is the answer. So, he is asking for a place and he is asking for time. And the second question. Tiempo, ¿verdad? Ayer estuvimos estudiando ese tipo de preguntas. El día de hoy vamos a continuar practicando el pasado simple en la forma interrogativa y vamos a continuar viendo Information Question o WH Word Question. So, let's start with this. Let's go. Uh, do you have any question about the platform exercises? Preguntas acerca de los ejercicios de la plataforma. ¿Cómo van con la sección 5? ¿Ya avanzaron? Yes, I finished, teacher. Oh, congratulations. A very good job, Maria Dolores. You have completed the oh. exercises and the evaluation. ¿Alguien más se terminó la plataforma? I yes, finished. teacher, I finished. I finished, teacher. Okay, excellent, Francisco. Jaime, very good job. Hugo, ya terminó también. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, I can help you. I think I can help you. If you need help to complete those uh, those exercises, I can help you. So anyone? So please don't forget that. Don't forget to complete the exercises and the evaluation. Tenemos hoy y mañana, ¿verdad? Recuerde que antes de la última sí. clase. Yes. Samuel. Eh, sí, me escucha. Sí. Ajá, sí. Sí, me escucha. Eh, sí, fíjense que yo tuve problemas con la sección 4. O sea, no es que no saqué el 80%, pero tuve problemas en una, en una evaluación que me salían dos preguntas que por más que le ponía las respuestas, no, no, no me las aceptaba. Um, ok. Eh, ¿Qué número es 4 que Samuel? ¿Se recuerda? Let's say a look at this. Um, quiero ver, creo que es la segunda evaluación de la, de la sección 4. Ok, let's see. You say section 4, the second exercises. Let's take a look at these exercises. Okay, this is the first one. Is it this one? Is this the same one? Te le creo el más abajito. Sí, creo que esa. Sí. Ah, no, no. Entonces no. Es la otra. Es la siguiente. Okay. Let's see. Is it this one? la última evaluación, sí. La sección 4. Sí, esta es la Entonces última. Es la, la prim... Entonces es la primera, eh. creo que no la vi bien. Ok, ¿es it this one? Sí, eh, no me aceptaba ahí donde dice el no cal. Es el... el... Uh, no no sé por qué no me aceptaba ese. En this part. But my, girl, my girlfriend uh -huh. didn't Hall. Eh, probablemente sea por el apóstrofe. Puede que haya escrito el acento, eh, que es acento en español, ¿verdad? Tiene que buscar el signo correcto, que es el apóstrofe. Probablemente por eso sea que no le acepta la respuesta. Even call. ¿Justo así la tenía, Samuel? Um, sí, quizás el, el apóstrofe es, lo voy a, lo voy a copiar y, y lo, voy a, lo voy a pegar mejor para que, okay. Ajá, porque hay veces así me ha dado problema. Ok, you can copy from the chat, I'm going to share with you here, let me see if I can. Ok.
Okay. So didn't call. That is the answer. Eh, ¿Solo ese era o hay algún otro Samuel? No, solamente, teacher. Eh, solamente. Muchas gracias. Okay. Sí, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. So let's go with tonight's topic. Any other question about the platform exercise? So don't forget, please, that during this week, you have to complete the section number five and also the final exam in this part, the final exam. It has six exercises or six questions. So we are, going to, we are going to take a look at the final exam tomorrow. So today, let's start with the topic. I'm going to share with you the next presentation. And we're going to continue studying this topic that you work with did, was, and where. So do you remember about the auxiliary did? Para que no sirve ese auxiliar, el auxiliary did. Look. Lo que vemos para el pasado. Ok, excelente. Nos sirve para hacer oraciones negativas y para hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Oraciones interrogativas en in simple past. And then I have what and where. So let's start with this. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. That is the lesson aptitude for tonight. Let's start with this. Let's take a look at this, Gary. Look at the picture and take a look at the question. What did you do this morning? Let's try to say sentence in simple past. What did she do this morning? She was sleeping. Okay, she was sleeping in a bench. Okay, she was sleeping on a bench. Estaba durmiendo sobre una banca? Yes. Pero, ¿por qué creen que terminó así de cansada? She looks tired. She looks very tired. What did she do? I have here some ideas. So let's take a look at the first one. She did exercise for two hours. She did exercise for two hours. Uh, she ran 10 kilometers. She did aerobics. And she played soccer. Probablemente hizo alguna de estas actividades y por eso terminó así. She did exercise for two hours. She ran 10 kilometers. She did aerobics and, or she played soccer. Okay, how often do you do exercise? ¿Con qué frecuencia es ejercicio usted? How often do you do exercise? You say always, never, teacher. ¿Con qué frecuencia se ejercita? Never, teacher. Never, you don't like exercise? Ah, okay. Yes, I like, but... I don't have time. Ah, okay. You don't have too much free time to do exercise. Okay, now let's take a look at the next picture here. Take a look at this boy. What did he do last night? He studied. He okay. studied. He studied. He was, he was studying. He was studying or he studied? He studied. ¿Qué otra oración podemos utilizar? ¿Qué hizo anoche? Y amaneció así. He read so much. Ok, he read a lot. So let's see some ideas. He insomnia. Oh, okay. ok, he had insomnia. So let's see, he studied the whole night. He read two books last night. He did homework last night. He wrote a report. So, simple password. Oraciones en pasado simple. What did he do last night? ¿Qué hizo él anoche? So, he studied the whole night. He read two books last night. He did homework last night. He wrote a report. 
Anyone who wants to practice reading these sentences, who wants to try reading them? Simple pass. Thank you so much, Jose Alberto. Do it, please. Uh, there's the question? Or, yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. The question, please. What did he do last night? He studied, studied uh, the whole night. He read two books last night. He did homework last night. He wrote a report. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, studied, verbo regular or irregular? Regular or irregular? Regular. Irregular. It's a regular verb. Thank you so much. Then let's see. Hugo Giovanni, do you want to read the sentences? Go ahead, do it. Okay. 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 Hugo, le escuchamos con bastante interferencia. Ah, ok, probablemente sea eso, pero le escuchamos bien poco. But try it, do it. Excellent, Hugo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Le pudimos escuchar un poquito, pero le escuchamos. Thank you. Okay, now let's play a look at this here. What did they do last night? As a party. Okay. They went to a party or they have a party. Thank you. Any other? Any other sentence? What did they do last night? ¿Qué hicieron ellas anoche? They, they were celebrate. Okay, they were celebrating. Okay. They were celebrating a birthday, for example. Uh, okay, Hugo, I understand. It is raining too. It is raining a lot. They, they were uh, drink. Okay, they drink. Well, what is the simple oh, part? Drunk. Drunk, yes. They drunk. drunk. <laughs> they drank wine. Excellent. So let's take a look at my ideas here. Let's see. Number one, they went to a party last night. They danced a lot. They ate delicious food. They drank wine and champagne. They were really happy. They enjoyed the night. And finally, they toasted with their friends. Which one are irregular birds in these sentences? ¿Cuáles son los irregulares en estas oraciones? Eight. Eight when, when, drunk, when, drunk, drunk. Excellent. When, only that, and drunk. Thank you. So let's see what is the pronunciation of this dance with dance. B or with T? Dance. T. Okay, it's with T sound. Dance. dance. And what about enjoy? Enjoy it. Or enjoy it, or enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Con D al final. Okay. Enjoy. enjoy it. And the last one, toast enjoy. it. Y D al final. It toast it. Down. Okay, toast it. I what, is, what is the meaning of that bear? What is the meaning of toast it? Toast it. Toast it. Okay, no idea. I don't have idea, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, it means brindar, brindar con sus amigos cuando chocan las copas. That is toasty. Okay, thanks. Okay, who wants to try reading these sentences? I need two volunteers. 
El primero para leer la oración. One, two, three, and four. And the second one to read five, six, and seven. So I have Hugo and Francisco. Okay, Hugo, well, let's start. Let's go. Let's try it. One, two, three, and four. And Francisco, five, six, and seven, please. Excellent, Hugo. Thank you. Francisco, can you please? Okay. They were really happy. They enjoyed the night. They toasted with their friends. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Toasted. They toasted with their friends. Excellent. Thank you. They toasted with their friends. Okay, thank you so much. So let's go with the next. So, ¿qué hicieron ellas anoche? What did they do last night? Let's take a look at this information. Expression that we use with, we are speaking in simple past. When we are speaking in simple past, we use some of this expression, right? To say when something happened. Para decir cuando algo sucedió, ¿verdad? So I can use last, last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, last night. It means la semana pasada, el mes pasado, el, el fin de semana pasado, Last Sunday, el domingo pasado, last night. Last year. Oh, you can say last year too, el año pasado. Let's see, for example, when did you last went to the beach? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue a la playa? When last did you go to the beach? Any answer? When you say, I went, I went to the beach. I went uh, to the beach the last month. Okay, I went to the beach the last month. El mes pasado. Muy bien. Say, last Sunday. El domingo pasado. Or, last weekend. El fin de semana pasado. O se puede decir, last vacation. Okay. I went to the beach on my last vacation. Yes, you can use that expression too. So here are another one. Last yes. Okay. Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. is another expression. It's ayer, man. Yesterday. Yeah. What did you do yesterday? Que hizo ayer. Ahora, si yo quiero ser más específico, yo digo, what did you do yesterday morning? ¿Qué hizo ayer por la mañana? What did you do yesterday evening? ¿Qué hizo ayer por la tarde? What, uh, por la noche, sorry. What did you do yesterday afternoon? ¿Qué hizo ayer por la tarde? And what did you do yesterday night? Ya bien noche, después de las nueve, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hizo después de esa hora? And also we can use the day before yesterday. Where were you the day before yesterday? ¿Dónde estabas antier? The day before Where? yesterday. Where antier? Before yesterday, hasta ahora. Ok, esa sí es nueva, teacher. Ah, ok. Literalmente significa el día, ¿verdad? Antes de ayer. But ah, we say sí. antier. Excellent. Any question in this part? Before yesterday, it significa antier, entonces. Antier, yes. El día antes de ayer. Then let's go with the next expression. So you can use a time to, so you say 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. So let's see, for example, uh, when did you eat dinner? A que hora se no? Then you say, I had dinner 10 minutes ago. 
I had dinner one hour ago. I had dinner 10 minutes ago. Or when? Hugo, do you have a question? I couldn't understand you. Can you please write your question on the WhatsApp, please, Hugo? Yo creo que Hugo tiene problemas quizás con el micrófono de los audífonos. Um, okay. Hugo, can you try it without your uh, earphones? Hello, Hugo. Intente desconectando los audífonos. A ver si con... Ah, okay. It's because it's raining. Well, it could be also the internet connection, right? Okay, but write your question in the chat, please. Escriba su pregunta en el chat, Hugo, because I couldn't understand you very well. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, then I'll go, wait. We use time, we say I'll go. Hace 10 minutos, hace una hora, hace tres días. Say, I finished my homework uh, three days ago. I finished the platform uh, one day ago. Terminé la plataforma hace un día. And also we can use years and months. In 1980, for example, in March on Monday. Let me see. Oh, three days ago. What is the meaning of three days ago? Significa hace tres días. Hace tres días. Let's say, for example, we celebrated Independence Day hace cuantos días? Hagan la cuenta. We celebrated Independence Day. Hace cuantos días o hace dos semanas, we can say two weeks ago, uh, ten days yeah, ago. Hace, hace 12, 12 days, sería, no. 12 days, uh, 12 12 days, days ago. ago. Okay, 12 days ago. Okay. In this one, um, let's see. When was the president elected? ¿Cuándo fue elegido el presidente? You say, Ian, the last president. When was elected the last president? And you say, Ian, 2000, 2000 what? 2020 or 2019? Don't you remember that? But in that case, we use 2000, 2019. 2019. Okay. In 2019, then we use years. So let's practice this expression. Let's give them in mind. We are going to practice using this expression. So let's see. Let's see this question. Where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? went to work okay let's see the answer here and then we're going to practice i went to the hospital donde fuiste ayer fui al hospital number two when did you get married i got married five years ago so when when did you get married i got married five years ago Let's see the next one. When was your graduation? When was your uh, college graduation? ¿Cuándo fue su graduación de la universidad? So you say, my graduation was two weeks ago. Acaba de ser. ¿Hace cuánto tiempo? 
Hace dos semanas. Hace dos semanas. Dos semanas. When was the soccer match? El Salvador versus Perú. When was the soccer match? Like 10 minutes ago, right? Hace como 20 minutos más o menos. ¿Cómo quedó el marcador? What was the score? Four. Four, Four to one. Four to one. Okay. Poor national team, right? So it was yesterday afternoon. I have this. Uh, it was yesterday afternoon. So take a look at this. We are using those expressions five years ago, two weeks ago, yesterday afternoon. I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants to practice? No, let's practice. We are almost finished this English course, right? Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Samuel. So, Francisco, can you help me reading the questions and Samuel the answers, please? Okay, teacher. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you get married? I got married uh, five years ago. When was your graduation? My graduation was two weeks ago. When was the soccer match? Uh, it was yesterday afternoon. Excellent job. Thank you. Very good pronunciation, guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So, Maria Dolores and Jose Alberto. Maria, can you help me with the questions and Jose Alberto, the answers, please? Okay. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you get get married? Get married? I got married five years ago. When was your graduation? My graduation was two week, weeks ago. When was the soccer match? It was yesterday afternoon. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Any question in this part? No questions? No, okay. Hugo, do you want to participate? Yes. Okay, anyone want to practice with Hugo, please? Who wants? Who wants to try it? Hello, guys. Any volunteer? If not, I'm going to pick somebody. Thank you so much, Damaris. Okay, Damaris, can you help me reading the question and Hugo the answers, please? Okay, teacher. Where did you go yesterday? Okay. When did you get married? I got married five years ago. When was your grad graduation? When was the soccer match? Thank you. Excellent job. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Damaris. That was a great job. Thank you. So when was the last time you? Let's try to answer the following question. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez de usted? When was the last time you? Let's see. Visited a friend. Any volunteer to answer this question? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que visitó un amigo? Then we are going to use the expression of time. So last weekend, two weeks ago, in 2021, for example, or the last year, when was the last time you visited a friend? Who wants to answer the question? Uh, I, I was uh, two uh, um, hours ago. Okay, very good. So you say, I visited a friend two, two hours ago. 
I visited a friend yes. two, two hours ago. Okay, excellent answer. Anyone, any other volunteer? I visited a friend the last weekend. Okay, excellent answer. I visited my friend the last weekend. Thank you. I any? my friend yesterday. Okay, excellent answer okay. too. I visited my friend yesterday. Thank you. Any other answer? The last one. I, uh, when was the last time you visited a friend? One more and we are going to change the question. No more answers. Let's see the next then. When was the last time you took a shower? Cuando fue la última vez que tomó una ducha? Then you say, I took a shower. I took a right. shower in the afternoon. Okay, excellent. I took a shower today afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I took a shower uh, uh, right 30, now. 30 minutes, 30 minutes ago. Uh, right now? Yes, right I now, took a shower uh, today right now. morning. Okay, I took a shower today's morning. Did you have a question? Have uh, a question. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I took a shower uh, today. Uh, morning. Okay, thank you. Jonathan, what's the question? Uh, Se puede usar right now como para decir ahora mismo. Uh, yes, pero en ese caso estaríamos hablando de presente progresivo. Ah, sería ah. la estructura. I am taking a shower right now. Ah, okay. Me estoy bañando en este momento. Okay. Ok, thank you. Ese, ese, eso que mencionó el teacher sería el mismo presente continuo que nos enseñaba. Sí, presente progresivo o presente continuo. Muy bien. When was the last time you cooked a cake or a pizza? Never. I cook. I cook. I cook this. Never. Pizza has a two weekend. Ago. Okay, I cooked, I cooked a pizza two weekends ago. Okay, excellent, thank you. When was the last time you drank coffee? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tomó I drank café? coffee two hours. Hours ago. <laughs> Excellent. Two hours ago. Very good. Any other answer? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. I drank coffee in the dinner. Okay. Okay. I drank coffee at the dinner. I drank coffee one hour ago. One hour ago. Okay. With pan dulce or just coffee? Yes, yes. Which pan dulce? <laughs> okay, let's see the next. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que comió macarrones, spaghetti, spaghetti? I was, I was ate spaghetti last weekend. Okay, I ate spaghetti last weekend. Okay. Ate spaghetti the last week. Okay, the last week. Thank you. Let's go with the next. When was the last time you cleaned your room? Oh, sorry, your bedroom. A cleaner, my bedroom. I am cleaning the, my, my bedroom uh, every day. <laughs> okay, but today in the morning, in the afternoon, Uh, in the morning. Ah, okay. I clean my bedroom today's morning. I cleaned my bedroom uh, yesterday afternoon. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. 
Hugo, tell me. Lo mismo era. <laughs> ah, ok. Uh, Good. Ok. Uh, let's see the next. When was the last time you watched a movie with your family? When was the last time you watched a movie with your family? I watched a movie with my family. Continue. Sorry. I watched a movie with my family two hours ago. Two hours ago. Okay, very good. Any other answer? When was the last time you watched a movie with your family? I watched a movie yesterday. Okay. With family. With your family yesterday. Very good, Jonathan. When was the last time you helped somebody? Ayudarle a alguien. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que le ayudaste a alguna persona a algo? Ah, ok. ¿No se acuerdan cuando le ayudaron a alguien? Somebody ok, thank you. I helped somebody today afternoon. I helped somebody every day. I helped somebody every day. Le ayudo a alguien todos los días. Ok, that's great. When was the last time you had a toothache? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que le dolió una muela? Uy, ni acordarme quiero, teacher. I had a toothache the last year. Ah, ok, excellent. I had a toothache last year. Any other answer? Ay, qué bien, nunca les han dolido las muelas. Great. Very good. I can... Ok, ustedes iban al dentista to visit the dentist a lot. Ok, when was the last time you said I love you? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que dijo I love you to somebody, a alguien? I say I love you on my song. Eh, hace, no sé. Okay, I said I love oh. you to my son yesterday, today's morning. Today in the afternoon. Okay, today afternoon. Okay. Bueno. Hay que decirle más seguido esa palabra a nuestros seres queridos. I love you. To your husband, to your dad, to your mother, to your son, to your daughter. Oh, even wife. your even your pet okay all your I wife say i love you to my wife in, today in the morning okay that's great okay we never know when is the last time right? so say it every day to the people that you love okay when was the last time you cut your hair cuando fue la última vez que se cortó el cabello Saturday. Cut my hair. Um, last Saturday? Last, last weekend? Monday. Last Monday, okay. ¿Cómo día? I cut your hair. I cut my hair uh, last Saturday. Um, I cut last Saturday. Sí, va. Last Saturday. Okay, I cut my hair ah, last no, uh, Saturday. I cut my hair last Saturday. Okay, excellent. Very good. I cut my hair uh, two months. Okay, two months ago. Two months ago. I cut my hair two months ago. Okay. I cut my hair last month. Last month. Okay. I nice. cut 
I cut my hair last weekend. Excellent sentence. Thank you. And I, the last I, one. I cut my hair, hair uh, one time a year. Okay. I cut my hair uh, once a year. Once a una, year. Una vez al año. Pero en ese caso es presente, presente simple. Yo me corto. I cut my hair once a year. Una vez al año. Okay. Thank you. Very good sentences. And the last one. When was the last time you went to dance? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue a mover el bote? To a party or to a dance club? Never dance, teacher. Oh, really, Jaime? You don't like? You don't like to dance? I like. Ah, okay. Cuando iba a la escuela, cuando iba a quinto grado. Uh, hace cuánto tiempo? Ten years ago, five years ago. Eh, creer. Hace como. Bueno, 2008. Ok. Uh, you can use in. I went to dance in 2008. En el 2008. In 2008. Yeah. I went to dance in 2008. Y para mis 15 nada más, teacher. I went to dance last weekend on Festivity Guasapa. Ah, ok, that's great. That's not, hey, no nos invitó. <laughs> <laughs> ok, thank you. Very good answer. So, uh, we use the, those expression of time, right? To say when something happened. Para decir cuando sucedió algo. Don't forget that. We can use yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. So last week, last weekend, last month, last year. Eh, we can use ago too, right? One hour ago, eh, three days ago, five years ago, ten years ago. And in, y usted dice el año específico en que sucedió ese evento, ¿verdad? ¿no? So don't Teacher, forget. Yes. I have a question. En mm -hmm. la última, en la 12, when, ¿qué significa? Es el pasado de go. Ah, ok. Ir. Fui. Ok. So let's say a look at this conversation. Where did you grow up? Do you remember about this question? Where did you grow up? What's the meaning of this question? Creciste? ¿Dónde creciste? Thank you so much. So the answer is I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come to Los Angeles? What's the meaning of that question? Cuando veniste a Los Angeles? When que tiempo? Cuando, okay. Thank you. In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? When was your mayor? It's a there to be in simple past question. What was your mayor? What's the meaning of that? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. ¿Cuál fue tu carrera? ¿Cuál fue tu carrera? Muy bien. ¿Cuál era tu carrera? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? That is another information question. Why did you become a hairstylist? ¿Por qué te convertiste en un estilista? Because I, need I needed that money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, a las chicas en el grupo, ¿les gusta ese estilo? ¿Irían donde Chuck a que les haga ese peinado? No, thank you. <laughs> no. no. No, thanks. You say, yes, teacher. <laughs> Más con estas tormentas, parece que un rayo le cayó a la pobre. <laughs> okay, look, look at her face. Look at her face. Uh, does she look happy? So, Chuck... Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Okay. I was born That's there, cool. too. Observen el rostro de la chica. Look at her 
face. Is she happy or not? No, it's not happy. No, she isn't. Surprise. Right? She's kind of surprised. Okay. So let's listen to this conversation and pay attention to the questions. And then we're going to practice. Le va a preguntar, teacher, le va a preguntar que dónde aprendió y le va a preguntar también dónde se le olvidó. <laughs> <laughs> Probablemente le haga las dos preguntas. Se le olvidó en Texas o en Los Angeles. Leo. So let's listen. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Well, uh... Two volunteers of practice. Um, do you have questions about the vocabulary in this small conversation? New words in here? La última parte donde dice, what do you think? ¿Qué, qué le quiso decir ahí? Oh, what do you think? ¿Qué piensas? ¿Qué, piensa? ¿Qué opinas? ¿Qué opinas? What do you think? What do you think? Sí, that is the meaning. Well, um, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's ugly. Lo pensó y dijo, no es para mí, era para otra gente, este estilo. <laughs> okay, probably, right? She isn't happy at all with that style. Um, do you want to practice this small conversation, please? No volunteers. Oh, thank you, Francisco and Jose Alberto. So, Fran, you are going to read mm -hmm. Melissa's part and Jose Alberto Chalk part, please. Let's okay. start. Oh, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there are two. And when did you come from Los Angeles? 99. I went to college here. Oh. What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, what did you become a hairstyle? Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, oh. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good job. Uh, just in this part, uh, can you tell me, please? Uh, how do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce this year? 1990. Okay, 1990. Excellent, 1990. I heard 1999. But it's 1990. Thank you so Sorry. much. Oh, well, don't worry, it's okay. We are learning. So 1990 in this year. Let's go over the next exercise here. Hugo, do you want to participate? Or do you have a question, Hugo? Participate. Okay, anyone want to practice with Hugo? Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you so much. So, Jonathan, you are going to read Melissa's part, and Hugo, you are going to read the <coughs> part. So, 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 where did you grow, grow up? I grew up in the Texas. I was born there too. As when, as when did you come? Did you come? La, did you come to Los Angeles? In nineteen ninety, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So we, we did you become a 
Tyli. Because uh, yeah. Because I need the money and I love it to look. What do you mean? Great. Mm. Okay, excellent Thank job. You. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you so much. Yes, let's pay attention to this word, please. How do you pronounce this one? Mayor. What, what mayor. was your mayor? What was your mayor? Mayor. What was your mayor? Thank you. Now let's see the other one. Is this one? Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. And the other one was this hair, hair, hairstylist, hairstylist, hair hairstylist. Hair 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 Thank you. Hairstylist. Hair okay. The rest, excellent. El resto de la conversación, excelente. Okay. Just to finish this class, let's see this. W expression we did wasn't work. Here are another example of this. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? How old were you in 1990? What was your major in college? And how was college? By the way, guys, how old were you in 1990s? ¿Ya habían nacido en este año? How old were you in 1990? No. No, no really? Not. Justin Hero. Yes, okay. sure. Then you say, I know. Then you say, right. I was. I was one year old. I was 10 years old. ¿Cuántos años tenían en los 90? I was 17. Okay, I was 17 years old. Three years. I, I was 11. I was 11. I was three. Okay, in 1990, I was one years old. Apenas tenía un año en los 90. I was. Okay. What was your major in college? ¿Cuál era su carrera en la universidad? Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Teaching? I was a graphic designer. Ah, okay. That's great. Anyone? What was your major in college? It was industrial nurse. engineer. Okay, industrial engineer, nurse. Okay, very good. So let's see. Here are the answers to it. Let's listen to the question and the answer. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Let me click on play here. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Okay. Two volunteers to practice. A question and answer. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Maria Dolores. Leslie, the question. Maria Dolores, the answers, please. Okay. Where, Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I come to Los Angeles in 1990, in 1990. Did you, you become an air stylist? Because I needed the, I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? I was drama. How was college? I was great. Okay, thank you so much. 
in the last sentence he said it it was drama it was great it it was great it was drama it was great thank you ah, okay the pronunciation of los angeles in english los angeles okay los angeles now don't forget about this structure please uh, to make an information question or w question we need a w word at the beginning of the question so w word auxiliary bit a subject the verb in present complement and the question mark so take a look at this example why did you eat my dinner why did you eat my dinner? Por qué te comiste mi cena? It is asking for a reason, right? So, because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Porque se miraba deliciosa y yo estaba hambriento. Bueno, ¿los han dejado sin cenar alguna vez? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> okay, yes. So, let's see. Then, Eh, primero va a ir la W word, why, when, who, where, then did, the auxiliar did, the subject, the verb in place, the in present, sorry, complement and the equation mark. Si estamos hablando del verbo to be, W word, was or where, subject, plus complement. What was your favorite subject at high school? My favorite subject was French. ¿Cuál era tu materia favorita en bachillerato? My favorite subject was French. Then, again, W word at the beginning of the question. Was or where, subject, complement, and the question mark. Do you have any question? Teacher. Yes. En caso, dijera, my favorite, favorite subject was eh, sería estudios sociales. Social studies, you can say. Social, Social studies. studies. Okay. Where did you grow up? I grew up. Okay. Now, just to finish this, I have some question for you. Let's see. Yes, no question and information question. Uh, about your last vacation. Let's see, where did you go on your last vacation? Any volunteer to answer this question? Where did you go on your last vacation? Then go in simple past. La respuesta sería? I went to the I beach. Went from, I went. I went to okay. the I went to Suchitoto. I went to the beach. Thank you. Let's see the next one about the school. Uh, I'm going to choose one. Did you get bad grades at the school? Did you get bad grades at the school? ¿Sacaba malas notas en la escuela? Did you get bad grades no, at didn't. the school? No, I didn't. Okay, excellent. It's a yes, no question. So you say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. Excellent. Let's see the next about internet. Did you chat online yesterday? Yes, yes I, I did. did. Yes, I did. yes, no question. They say, yes, I did. Did you watch any videos on TikTok yesterday? No, I didn't. No, no I, didn't. I didn't. Okay. Did you send any emails an hour ago? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, that was about internet. Let's go about reading. Did you read a book last month? Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Okay. What yes, was it about? De qué se trataba? What was it about? De qué se trataba el libro? Eh, it was about a romantic story. It's about a, I don't know, I don't know how do you say cartomancia? About what? Cartomancia. Yeah, really? 
Catomasa. Yes. C A T O M A M C I A. Catomancia. Catomancia. Ah, ok. ¿Le parece si investigo y le contesto mañana? Sí. <laughs> <laughs> ok, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, did you like it? Did you like it? Yes, I like it. Ah, ok. Very It's good. Interesting. Ok, llevamos tarea para mañana. What is catomancia? Let's see about four. Did you go jogging in the morning today? Yes, no question. Did you go jogging, jogging in the morning? Yes, I did. No, I yes, didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, jogging. Oh, Fue a trotar esta mañana? Yes, I did. Jogging. Let's trotar. Just, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you swim last summer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Did you train yesterday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Entre, no, I yes, did. Oh, yes, yes did. I did. Great. This was about sport. Let's go about birthday. Where did you celebrate your last birthday? Where? That is an information question. It's asking for a place. Where did you celebrate your last birthday? I celebrate in my home. Oh, okay. That is a good answer, but it is asking for a place. Donde? Donde fue la fiesta? Then you say, I celebrated my birthday at the beach. I celebrated my birthday at a restaurant, at home. So how many friends did you invite? Cuantos amigos invitó? How many friends did you invite? I invited just my family. <laughs> okay, so he said, I didn't invite my friends. <laughs> Mucho comments. <laughs> I didn't invite my friend. Uh, what present did you get? ¿Qué regalos obtuvo ese día? What present did you get? Then you say, I got. I got a t-shirt. Okay, I got a, a watch. A watch? Okay, a watch. Sorry, I got a watch. Okay, don't worry. Uh, clock es el grande, ¿verdad? El que va en la pared. Watch es el que yeah. andamos. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. Uh, what did you eat and drink? I ate roasted chicken and drank soda. Excellent answer. Thank you. Let's go with the next. We're almost to finish. Shopping. Yes, no question. Did you go shopping last week? I did. Uh, I don't. Yes, I, I, did. I, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. What did you buy? What did you buy? I, I bought groceries. Excellent. Did you go shopping alone? Yes. Yes, I did. Ah, okay. No, I, I, I have uh, my family. Oh, I went with my family. Ah, okay. Went. Thank you. Okay, I went with my family. Very good. How much did you spend? Very expensive. Okay, everything is very expensive, right? So when you go shopping, you spend a lot of money. Ahí se va toda la quincena. Solo en groceries. Housework. Let's see this housework. Did you clean your room last Friday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you wear any plants yesterday? Did you wear any plants ayer? It's raining. No, I didn't. It's raining. It was raining. It was raining. It was raining. Okay, it was raining. Yes, you're right. So, did you iron yesterday? Did you iron? Yerro, teacher. Oh, yes, it means yerro, but it, in this case, it's a bear and it means planchar. Did you iron yesterday? Ah. 
Failed you? I didn't. No, I didn't. I don't okay. like it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Erwin. <laughs> so do I. I don't like to iron too. Okay, let's see the next. Food. Did you drink three cups of coffee yesterday? No, I didn't. Yes, no, I, did. I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Let's see the other one is information question. In the what did you eat two hours ago? What did you eat two hours ago? No, I didn't. Uh, yes, I, I ate my food. dinner. Ah, okay. I uh, ate my dinner. Oh, very good. I so, ate an apple. Very good answer. I ate an I apple. I ate. I ate pupusas. I ate pupusas. Thank you. Then let's go. That was about food. Let's go about this TV. Did you watch TV yesterday? No, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, um, I didn't. Los que sí vieron, what did you watch? Play soccer. Okay, I, I watched soccer game. I watched soccer I game. Watch I watched soccer game. Soccer game. I watched Dragon Ball, a cartoon. Okay. I watched movie. I watched watch a movie. Excellent. Movie. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you so much. Let's see. We are going to complete this tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help, your participation during the exercises. Hugo escribió never, pero no recuerdo qué pregunta Hugo. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So see you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Don't forget, please, to complete the section number five in the final exam. Si les hace falta algún ejercicio, completémoslo, por favor. El 80% es lo que requiere el curso para poder aprobarlo, pero dejamos esa plataforma al 100%, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a llevarlo todos al 100%. If you need help, I'm going to be happy to help you on the WhatsApp group, please. And don't hesitate to write. No duden en escribir, ¿verdad? Si tiene problemas con algún ejercicio, para que la plataforma nos quede completita al 100% a todos, ¿de acuerdo? See you tomorrow, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.